If this video is authentic, it would appear to be an incredibly rare look at the draconian punishments that North Korea imposes upon people who are caught doing one of the most grave sins imaginable, uh, according to the North Korean regime, which is consuming foreign culture, particularly South Korean culture, which is the antithesis of the militaristic nationalist North. You have K-pop, you have K-dramas, all of these programs that we know are being smuggled into North Korea. We know that North Korean people watch them pretty regularly. This is according to uh, many North Korean defectors who have said that the first glimpse they had at the outside world in one of the most secretive and restricted uh, and isolated places on the planet was viewing these black market bootleg DVDs or even VHS tapes uh, showing these dramas which provide kind of a glamorized view of capitalism. This video, uh, in an amphitheater, it appears to be, uh, there are these two teenagers uh, that are 16 years old, standing on stage with these people in military uniforms, other adults on the back of the stage, maybe school administrators, hundreds of what appear to be students in the crowd. And these teens are just standing up there, uh, being told that they are being sentenced to 12 years of hard labor for watching and distributing dozens of South Korean movies and TV shows. Uh, the narration on the video, I'm gonna read you a quote from it. It says, not long ago, a public trial was held, uh, then giving the team's names and saying that they were accused of watching and distributing puppet regimes recordings. That's what North Korea calls South Korea, the puppet regime, a puppet of the United States, they claim. The video goes on to say, they were only 16 years old, just at the beginning of their lives. However, they were seduced by foreign culture, ultimately ruining their future paths. And this video also named their homeroom teachers, essentially shaming them, uh, destroying their reputation, perhaps destroying their careers, their lives, maybe even the lives of their family members. Now, South Korea's National Intelligence Service tells CNN that it cannot verify if this video is authentic. Of course, CNN also cannot independently verify the video. It was released by the Seoul-based uh, South and North Development Institute. Uh, this is a group that consists of North Korean defectors, so we know they do have contacts inside the country that can leak this sort of material out to them. We also know that back in 2020, North Korea adopted what they called the Anti-Reactionary Ideology and Culture Act. This is the North Korean law that essentially clamping down during COVID on the distribution of these videos uh, and enforcing very stiff penalties, hard labor for small quantities of these banned materials, and even death in some cases. Will Ripley, CNN, Taipei.